very good morning, everyone. I am Dr. Varun Agarwal, Associate Professor Orthopedics from Bareilly Doyle Khan Medical College. So as we know, back pain is the leading cause of occupational disability, and mechanical low back pain remains the second most common symptom-related reason for seeing a physician. It is the third most expensive disorder in terms of healthcare dollars spent, and it is surpassed only by cancer and heart disease. Every day, we are seeing these patients. So cases like these walk into our OPD, and we are ready with our scalpels, with our knives, ready to operate. But can we do these surgeries under local anesthesia? So yes, so this is a case of a 40-year-old female who presented to me with pain in the back, radiation to the lower limbs, with the SLR on the right side at 20 degrees, walking distance was just 30 meters, there's lysthesis, and you can see on the MRI, the stenosis is also there, although the ligament flavum hypertrophy is not too much. So this is how we do it. The needle is inserted transforaminally, and local anesthesia is given. The dilator is placed. Then the working channel, a big drill is used to pour out the disc fragment. We have these big instruments which uh, just go in and we can scrape the end plates. We have an expandable paddle to size and you know prepare the disc space, which all goes through this working channel. And now the trial is placed over again a guide wire. So this is me harvesting the graft under local anesthesia from PSIS, mixed with the graft expander, and then placed under the working channel, and then the cage goes in. You can see that the patient is awake, fully aware, and quite comfortable at that. And then with erector spiny blocks and some local infiltration, the screw sites, again the pedicle screws are placed. And you can see at all time the patient is fully awake, fully aware. The guard wires for the screw through the Jamshedi needles. Then the serial dilators for the screw. So this is the longitude system which I have been using here. So all the four screws again placed under local anesthesia. The rod is being passed and then locked in place. So this is how it looks under CM during the surgery. So this is the final construct. You can see here, the graft is placed anteriorly to the cage also. And this is the AP view. These are the transverse incisions for cosmetic reasons which I take for the screws. The rod insert, uh, incisions for the rod insertion. The bone graft incision, the cage ins uh, incision. And this is the immediate post-op X-ray. And uh, uh, within three, four hours, the patient is out of bed, walking. And this is like a truly daycare position. You operate the patient, you can send her home by evening. So can we do adequate disc preparation through a local anesthesia, through the transcambian approach? So this is the amount of disc which has been removed through these big instruments, all under CM. So this is a question which everyone wants to know. Will it fuse? So this is another one of my case, 55-year-old male. This is L5S1. This is the MRI, fusion, one year follow-up, and then you can see here, it has fused well, both anteriorly and through the cage. So another question, this is just good enough for one level. Can we do more? So this is another of my case, 48-year-old female, presented with back pain and claudication. List this is 3-4, reduced disc space height 4-5. This is her MRI, you can see. And again, she has been fixed at both the levels through this local anesthesia. 
So this is the anesthetic protocol which I follow. 20 cc's of bupivacaine with 7 cc's of 2% xylocaine and water for injection. IV dexam infusion, IV fentanyl, top up when needed. Uh, in the early days when I started and uh, we used to place an epidural, but now uh, with practice we have reduced the use of epidural quite a lot. So in conclusion, the realm of percutaneous techniques are expanding to include fusions and fixations, careful patient selection and thorough knowledge about the proposed procedure are mandatory. And if indirect decompression in OLIF can work from the front, surely it can work from the back. And you always have the option of using the endoscope to do a thorough decompression if required and that uh, call is taken on the preoperative MRI. So thank you for a patient listening.